Today I will be covering the different parts of the brain and how our brain is able to send messages. Let's begin by getting to know our brains. Imagine your brain as the boss of your body, controlling everything you do. It's like a superhero hidden inside your head. Our brains have three main parts, the cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem. They work together to help us think, move, and feel. Now let's take an even closer look at the parts of our brain. The cerebrum, which is the largest of these three main parts of our brain, is divided into four lobes, the frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital lobes, and each lobe has its own unique job. The frontal lobe helps us think, make decisions, and set goals for ourselves. The parietal lobe helps with sensing and feeling, for example, processing information about temperature and pain. The temporal lobe is responsible for hearing and remembering sounds and understanding language. And the occipital lobe helps us see and recognize things, making sense of the colors and shapes of an object to place meaning to what we are seeing. Now, what happens when these parts of our brain get injured? An injury to the frontal lobe can cause poor judgment, decision making, and changes to our personality. When the parietal lobe is injured, we may have difficulty knowing where things are in relation to our own bodies. For example, how close an object is to us. Difficulty in recognizing faces, things, or places can happen when the temporal lobe is injured. An injury to the occipital lobe can involve blurred vision. This is why protecting our brain is so important. Wearing a helmet when we ride bikes helps us keep our brains safe from injury. Also, eating fruits and vegetables provides the fuel our brains need to stay strong. The next major part of our brain is the cerebellum, which is the part of the brain that is responsible for coordinating movement and maintaining balance. It's like the conductor of an orchestra helping different parts of our body work together. The cerebellum helps us walk, run, jump, ride a bike, and do all sorts of physical activities. It also helps us have good coordination, like when watching a ball fly to the air and catching it, or playing an instrument with a group. To summarize, the cerebellum makes sure our movements are precise and well coordinated. The brainstem is also such an important part of the brain that helps control our basic body function and keep us alive. It's like the boss of our automatic functions. The brainstem is responsible for things we don't have to think about, like breathing, swallowing, and controlling our heartbeat. It also helps us stay awake and alert. Without the brainstem, our body could not do these essential tasks. Our brains are made up of billions of tiny cells called neurons. They're like messengers that carry electrical signals to different parts of the brain. Think of them as superheroes who send messages at lightning speed. Neurons have special parts called axons and dendrites that help these messages travel. To pass the message from one neuron to another, they use special channels called neurotransmitters. Picture a telephone line connecting two friends. When one friend wants to share a message, they speak into the phone and the voice travels through the line to the other friend. Similarly, neurotransmitters carry messages between neurons. There are chemical substances that travel across a tiny gap between neurons called a synapse, connecting one neuron to the other. Neurotransmitters can help us feel happy, excited, or calm. So let me give you a few examples. Dopamine makes us feel happy and motivated, helping us experience pleasure and reward. Acetylcholine helps our muscles move and is essential for learning and memory. Gamma aminobutyric acid, or GABA for short, calms down our brain, reduces stress, and promotes sleep. In summary, our brains are incredible and complex organs. The cerebrum, cerebellum, and brainstem all work together but have each of their unique functions. Even the billions of neurons and neurotransmitters work together to carry messages that control our thoughts, movements, and emotions.